for the Brookfield Board of Selectmen's uh, meeting of Tuesday, September 19, 2017. Would you please um, uh, stand and um, follow me with the board? Uh, I'm sorry. sorry. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> with the, <Okay. laughs> with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Is that a new flag? It doesn't look it. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah it looks yeah. brand new. Somebody watched it, maybe. Okay, I'd like to entertain a motion um, to uh, ratify um, some withholding warrants, expense, and payroll warrants. Go for it. Okay, I'll second that. Okay, I'd like to approve the withholding warrant for 8 17 16 or $106,373.11. Approving expense warrants for 9517 for $13,532.38. Approving expense refunds warrant for 9517 for $1,143.76. Approving payroll warrant for 81517 for $74,808.26. Approve an expense warrant for 912.17 for $48,877.04. Approve a payroll warrant for 912.17 for $154,923.75. And approve an expense warrant for 914.17 for $104.07. You have that motion. Um, I will second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And then I would like to uh, entertain a motion to approve the Board of Selectmen's uh, minutes of 8317 and 82417. You have that motion? I will second that motion. All in favor? Aye. All right. And then I would like to also acknowledge the reports and minutes from meetings from other departments, Brookfield Cultural Council minutes of August 14, 2017, and Fire Department of August 26. 17 report. Just to acknowledge. I like yeah. to acknowledge, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. acknowledge that. Yeah. Okay, and then we have, well, I noticed on the file when I was going over the minutes, I noticed in the fire department we have two anniversaries. We have Captain Richard Phillips with 18 years of service to the town, and Lieutenant Jeffrey White, 13 years years of service, and I would like to congratulate the two of them for all the years of service and the dedication that they have to the town. Thank you very much to the two of them. Announcements. A reminder that construction is currently ongoing on the Dunbrook Bridge. Please be advised that the bridge is expected to remain closed at least until September 30th. Please plan your route accordingly. Residents of private roads are reminded to mail back hold harmless agreements if they haven't already done so. Signed agreements from all residents and abutters of private roads must be received as soon as possible or the roads will not be plowed. Tyler Wolin, District 8, to Senator Ann Gobi, will be holding office hours at the Town Hall from 10 to 11 a.m. Wednesday, September 20th, which is tomorrow, and all are welcome. Senator Donnie Berthium will be holding hours from 5.30 to 6.30, Tuesday, October 3rd, in the Banquet Hall of the Town Hall, all are welcome. A reminder, the 39th Annual Apple Country Fair will be held from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Sunday, Saturday, October 7th, 2017, on the historic Brookfield Town Common. Highlights include 70 craft vendors, live music, a quilt raffle, children's activities, apple pie contest, food vendors, bake table, raffles, and much more. For more information, visit Appletownfair, applecountryfair.com. And trick or treat and Halloween will be ha will be Halloween night, October 31st. Trick or treat in the village and common areas between 6 p.m. and 7:30 p.m. You meet at the fire station for a parade to the common. Will leave promptly at 7:30 p.m. Costume contest is in the gazebo upon arrival at the common. Does anyone else have anything for announcements? This evening? All right, we'll move on to public access. Do we have anyone here with public access? Before
before you start, I had, um, remember last, two weeks ago? You had what? Remember two weeks ago, you had asked us, you said there was two seasonal workers, and then you said that we were paying somebody else from Warren yeah. to do signs. All right, well, I, I, got we'll give... I talked to Cindy about this yep. on the highway. She says we have one seasonal worker who works approximately 24 hours a week. We do not have a worker from Warren who has making signs on Fridays. He is being paid as an independent contractor from the bridge, rail, and sign account when he works for Brookfield or from the RHE co-op when he is working for other towns. He has made sounds for, signs for East Brookfield, Wales, and Brookfield. So that's what I got. So, so this individual, he's getting paid, yes, he's getting paid out of the bridge and rails account. Uh, well, he's, he's actually working for the highway department, you correct? No, he's not. No. What it is, he comes in and he makes our signs, he, and he gets paid out of that account. He's not actually, from my understanding, he's, he's not good. actually an employee of the town. And then when he makes signs for the other community, it comes out of that co-op money. That co-op, is, is that even in existence anymore? As far as I know it is. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, so why is this individual on the roads working on the roads? <clears throat> I, I don't know. That question, not, that he's question, not making signs. He's out actually working well, on the roads. That question was not asked, Dave. I, no, I could you ask that question because we got to get a complete, full answer, not just a partial he's answer. Any, he's, he's out working on the roads yes. too. And why is it be taken? Why is it being taken out of the rail and bridge account? You have to figure that in. So now, so what we're doing is we're bypassing money out of the seasonal worker account if we put it out of the bridge and rail account then we're bypassing what we no, should no, be doing no, we're <clears throat> paying somebody out of the seasonal worker account but the, the right other i understand person, that. he's making signs for brookfield that it is that sign account can be used to make signs yes but why why is he, how is he getting paid when he's working on the roads because he's a con i don't know anything you're, you're, there's, there's a statement that that gentleman that we're talking about from Warren is working on Brookfield Roads. Yeah. That is not my understanding. No. And if there needs to be a clarification, then we'll get the clarification. Oh, I've seen him with my own two eyes on many occasions. Oh, good. I'm glad you do. Okay. Yeah. Well, don't get smug with me. I'm just telling you what I've seen, Clarence, so, okay? You gonna, are you going to tell me he's not working on the roads? No, I'm asking a question. Okay, good. So you said I'd like a working, clarification on you that. You said he's working on the roads. Yeah. I've seen him working on the roads. Right. So I mean, if we're gonna, you t we get X number of dollars for seasonal workers out of out of, out of account, and now you're gonna take it out of another account. Well, you're me. taking out of the bridge and rails account. So and if he's out, if he actually is working on the roads for Brookfield, then that should come out of the seasonal worker account. Is my point. So we're kind of mm -hmm. bypass. We're kind of. I, uh, yeah, we, but you we didn't. Disagree. Okay. I disagree because you didn't you didn't ask that question last week. The question you asked. Why were we paying two seasonal workers? We're only paying one seasonal worker, and the one from Warren, when he's in here, he yeah. is working, making signs for Brookfield, yeah. being signed by, I stated that, yeah. out of that account, and when he's working, making signs for the other communities, it's out of the co-op money. Okay. That's what you wanted to know two weeks but ago, I, and, that's, okay. and that was the question that I found out for you. But I've also seen him working on the roads. He's out with the guys in the trucks. Well, you didn't ask that question. Well, I mean, you are the selectman. You should know what's going on in our town. Obviously, you don't. Thank you, David. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, okay. can I ask why we have a police officer in the selectman's meetings now? Two weeks ago, you had a selectman, uh, an officer here. What What is the purpose of having an officer here well, he, tonight and the other selectman's meeting? What's well, the purpose? Been, he's been coming up in case anything gets a little bit out of hand so that he's here. Out of hand? Who, who's getting out of a hand? Anybody that comes in. If somebody comes in and they're a little belligerent to us or anything like that, he's here. And, and if we tell them that, you know, we want them to stop what they're doing and they just continue on, the police officer's here and he can take action for us. Take action if someone's if someone is getting completely out of control. Yes, otherwise no, Linda. I go to a lot of other town meetings and they don't have a police officer yeah, sitting there. This is something new we've started. <clears throat> what's the what, what, what's the purpose though? It's the chairman's prerogative. It, 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 yeah, just what I told you. This this town's coming apart. You guys, you guys. Thank you, David. 
Yeah, it's directed at you and Linda. And how come Beth's not here tonight? She's she's, she's always right. missing meetings. She's in an insurance meeting at this point. It doesn't matter where she is. The, I, don't I don't care what she's doing. Here. I'm asking you why she's not here. She should be here conducting town business. Thank you, David. She's an elected official. But she is doing town business at this very moment. Yeah, okay. Um, one other thing. Brush. Can people just randomly go down to the brush dump and dump brush? That's a question, Clarence. Certainly not. Okay. Well, I've seen a, a form of selectman just randomly go down there and dump all the brush all day long, just bringing brush down in there. Is, so can I do that too? Where would they bring it? Down to the brush oh, dump. Sure. So oh, can, I, can I start doing that too? Without permission, I can just drive down there? Mr. Cleveland, you're private citizens and you go to the highway department and make the okay so you can go and dump the brush. I don't think we should allow businesses to go down there and you know, save their money. No, I'm not talking about business. I'm talking about my own personal property. Okay? That's what I'm saying. And I didn't mention me. I'm just asking a general question there, Mr. Cleveland. Can, can, no. If I bring it from my own personal property, I can use any vehicle I want. Okay, so just do to the town residents know this? Are they aware that we can bring brush down here? Is that something? Yeah. Oh, it's been okay, so we can. Okay, so we just got to go down yeah. there and clarify it then. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't know that. I think I think a lot of other people didn't realize that either in town, because a lot of people have been asking me, and I said I don't know. I'll find out. So, okay. okay. So if we go down to the highway, we can get tell them what we're doing, yes. and we'll get permission. Get permission. Good, good, good. Okay, I like that. <clears throat> um, what's the other one I got here? Okay, my attorney wanted to let you guys know that we did file in Superior Court today and we're going to move forward and he, he will be getting documents uh, shortly. Um, we don't know when it's going to go, but it's going to be a while. You, in, in the meantime, you can't go to district court and try to find me for something I have permits for down there. If you do, it's just going to get kicked back down. Okay? And like I told you two weeks ago, I will continue operating down on 6 South Maple Street. You'll still what? I will still be operating, doing what I'm doing. My permit is still good, and I will still be operating the sign as well. Um, oh, let's clarify. Then you're <clears> saying <throat> you've taken an appeal on 6 South Maple? I have. Okay. Right. That's what have I'm trying you, to Have you filed an appeal with the town clerk? Because usually that's where you file it with also. Has an appeal been No, no, we, did, we, we appealed it to Superior Court. Yes, but the town clerk should also get He will be getting to... notified, yes. He will be getting yeah. notified from the Superior Court. That's correct. If you want my attorney to, to notify him, he can do that too. Well, he should have something in writing okay. that has been appealed. And when it comes in from the Superior Court, it should also go to the town clerk. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the procedure. And he yeah, and he did he mention trying... something about mm. the town clerk, but I didn't... Yeah, and then he stamps it in, and then he forwards it to the Board of Selectmen. Okay. In the ZBA. Just... If okay. Is it directed at the ZBA or the Board of Selectmen? The ZBA, the Town of Brookfield and the ZBA okay. Board. Okay. Right. So I just want to let you know that. So we're moving on here. Uh, that's it. All right, thank you. Okay. All right, next on the agenda is to sign the CDBG CDF contract. Motion to sign the contract. Okay. And... Uh, and I'll second that motion. Great. Okay, this is for two design projects, an uh, infrastructure and senior center and two planning projects, an ADA environmental remediation. And the, and the, and the amount of the grant is $363,699. And I would like the permission to sign this. All oh, we have to do is say aye. That's it. Okay. Motion. Sign. 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 Sign.
Mr. Andrew Lowe said I should have the treasurer and the accountant also on this. They can sign. So I'll have them sign tomorrow and then I'll know okay. okay. Do you want me to fill in all of this? Or? Is that for the notary? Um, it, it's title and telephone and fax and email. Oh, I can do that. Okay. All okay. right. Wage authorizations um, have not been signed yet. They are uh, they've gone to the personnel board and they're holding a meeting next yeah. week. They plan on yeah, we're holding, yeah, we're planning a meeting on Thursday. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Okay, this is to um, appoint Patricia Capianco for ZBA clerk. Her term to expire June 30th, uh, 2018. And this is another one for. Uh, Micah Laird to be a uh, member of the emergency medical squad for the term to expire June 30th, 2018. And a member to the cultural council, um, Damien Sargent, and his uh, term will also expire June 30th, 2018. I would like a motion. Motion to approve this. Mm -hmm. I'll, second the, I'll second the motion. All, all in favor? Aye. Okay. okay, now our next one here is to declare surplus goods. And this is from Chief Martel. Uh, the 2004 Crown Victoria sedan, color black, is no longer used by the fire department and subject to disposal by the board. It is not suitable for road use in its current condition. So I'd like to make a motion 
to make that surplus, and maybe we can put it on you again. Motion to approve. Okay, and I will second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. okay. This is. Do we have any other before our correspondence? I just wanted to just update you on two things. Okay. Uh, the open space recreation plan. We're having a framing committee meeting tomorrow mm -hmm. here at between one and four, okay. uh, where we've had over 100 surveys come back. Mm -hmm. uh, just to kind of give you a feel of what 100 surveys mean, uh, there are essentially 1,300 households in the town of Brookfield. Mm -hmm. So we basically had just under 10 percent uh, of the households responding. Okay. And then the second is that this is the uh, draft of the. Uh, archaeological survey mm -hmm. and we're waiting for uh, mass historical to approve the draft and with that we can then uh, submit this document and then we'll do the reimbursements okay. and the like so just well, you put a lot of work it's a big document thank you okay all right that's that now under correspondence do we want to do, do this uh, no, that, that's, I thought we were going to no, post. No, that was for the executive session. Okay, so that's going to be that. That should, right. Okay, so what is this? Okay, so that's the request. No. Okay, we don't need any of this. Okay. That, that goes to executive session. This is the executive board. Okay, okay, one to the wrong. Okay. Other. Okay, other. All right, the other is um, the Office of Dam Safety is currently reviewing our request for an extension for the Cooley Hill Reservoir Dam. Once ODS reaches a determination on the request, we will notify the town all the extension request is under review. A hold will be placed on the Phase 1 order issued on July 24, 2017, and the Phase 1 inspection will not be required until an extended due date is granted. Now, there was a meeting about that, and I attended it, and you did, but I couldn't speak. So would you like to talk yeah, about so, that Yeah, so what we have is we have the inspection requirement of the dam and, and any maintenance that would come from that inspection. What is understood by me is that the dam needs to disappear, yes. that, that in fact it, it is something that uh, can no longer be uh, uh, made available. And so, and so with that, the, the state is looking for these kinds of dams to be returned to a natural state, mm -hmm. which would say the dam would be breached over time, and that uh, in breaching the dam, it would go back to a natural state. We have had uh, several inquiries as to what's going on and what, what, what could potentially happen. Uh, we will state that we're waiting Audubon to come back to us with a proposal where they have a similar experience for a similar property and where this is an abutting property, it, uh, it may, uh, to Audubon uh, Home Health, it may make some sense that we work uh, directly with Mass Audubon um, to uh, go through the grant writing and the necessary steps um, to remove the dam. I think so. that's a good idea after just sitting in on it listening last week also. Yep. So we're waiting Mass Audubon and Dam Safety to come back to us. Okay, and under uh, we have here under correspondence, it's to it and to whom it may concern. The Brookfield Congregational Church would like to use the gazebo on the common for a blessing of the animals on Sunday afternoon, October first, at three o'clock p.m. This has been an event in the life of the church that has been meaningful for many and which affirms the joy that animals bring to our lives. If you have any questions, please feel free to call me at 860-899-5901. Thank you for your assistant, Reverend David Hughes of the Brookfield Congregational Church. Right. And uh, I will make a motion. I'll second it. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Uh, we've done that now probably for more than 10 years. Yeah, we did it too in our parish. Yep. So, do we have anything else on the agenda for this evening? Yep. Okay, well, I will make a motion to adjourn. Second. Uh, and I'll second that. Are you I've seconded, seconded it, it, so I'm And uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. So, we're all done. Yep.